Chris Race here. Today we're going to build on some of the mathematical concepts you've previously learned to apply them to a real world situation. Today, the problem will be to find out how fast a dart gun similar to this one fires. And we're going to use two mathematical concepts to do that. Today's lesson is called How to Apply Rates and Basic Quadratics. And we're going to be using two mathematical concepts that you've used previously. The first idea is the idea that speed equals distance divided by time. This is the rates part of our lesson. The second idea we're going to use is the idea that the height of an object at a given time equals the object's original height minus the pull of gravity over time. Now gravity is an acceleration, we learned that. That's why that's squared. You've seen this formula before, so let's get to it. To do this mathematical experiment, all we'll need are first of all a dart gun, a calculator, a tape measure, a level, and a little bit of knowledge about a few formulas here. First of all, this one's kind of common sense. Speed is distance divided by time, you know, like miles per hour or feet per second. Now this one most people don't know off the top of their head, but we'll, and we'll come back to it. What does it mean? It means the height of an object at a certain time equals its original height minus the pull of gravity is what this stands for. First, I attach the gun to the ring stands and make sure that we have a level barrel so that it's shooting straight forward. It's going to be shooting at this wall. Now to take a few measurements. The first measurement we're going to take is how high the gun barrel is off the ground. And looking from here, I'm, th I'm seeing just shy of four feet. So three feet, 11, inch, 11 and a half inches. The second measurement I need to take is the distance between the gun and the wall. About 76 inches. Now, I'm gonna fire up the dark gun and fire a few rounds and take the average of those rounds See it all very close together. One actually bounced off the back of one of those. So we're going to look and see just what measurements we get from the height of those. Looks like our shots were between three foot four and three foot five. You can tell because that's level. One of the things we seldom consider is how an object falls. Now, if you and your friend both had a ball and one of your friends, or your friend threw the ball, well, you dropped it. They would both fall at exactly the same rate, much like what I'm going to show you right here. See that I've drawn a line here in between them. So you can see that they're falling regardless of the forward motion. It is because of this reason that we are able to calculate the time. That's why it was so important to make sure the gun barrel was level when we uh, began the experiment. Now that we've discussed some of the ideas, and finish the demonstration to get our data, please click on the presentation uh, PowerPoint included with this video.